How disappointing. Today we are taking a look at the De La Roni Black India ink. Now what makes this ink very special is that not only is it made by the same company that actually makes my current favorite ink, but this ink itself is actually available at Walmart for less than $4, which is very affordable and pretty different from the inks we have taken a look at before. We've had some $5 inks that are definitely a lot smaller than this. Now one thing I have to say is that De La Roni, their inks are super high quality. I thoroughly love using them. And first off, I like the little simple look, I like that it's actually a glass inkwell and I love the plastic top. There is no little eyedropper, which I prefer personally. Very nice looking inkwell, like this looks like a traditional inkwell, which is nice. And then one detail I really like that De La Roni does is that they provide a picture of all the different stuff you can actually use their ink with. So you get a little brush, a dip pen, a fine liner, and of course an airbrush. Just a nice little detail that I absolutely love that they do. Now we're in an interesting situation as my expectations are extremely high because however, I do want Understand that this is simply a budget ink because it's four dollars it's at Walmart you're not gonna find it at Michaels so I'm also getting a bit of this is more for the everyman this is more like a cheaple alternative that's that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it but you know what we're gonna test this out because all inks become equal in front of the Batman sketchbook Alrighty, so far not the smoothest ink, not very consistent. I am noticing right now there's some grays, so this ink does not stay true black. It actually quickly turns into a gray, especially the longer I make my lines. So that is not good. To me, that says the ink is definitely more on the watery side, and so there's not a lot of actual, well, ink pigment in it. So that is not good. Now this is with our normal dip pen. Let's check it out with the quilt pen. So real quick, before we actually do the uh, dip pen test, Something I want to point out is that here is our ink. So I'm going to dip it. Here's our pen. Now watch this. That did not turn black at all. That is not good. Not much better. We're going to do a quick brush test. Guys, I didn't water this down. This is straight from the ink well. In fact, here's proof. Dip. That's, look at that. That's, that's not good. This is great. I'm curious to see if this is waterproof because it did not say it. Okay, it's fairly waterproof. I mean, it's bleeding a little bit. I am actually really disappointed with this. So let's get a zoom in so I can show you my frustration. So there's quite a few problems with this ink right off the bat. As you can see with both our normal dip pen and with our quill pen, these lines are horrible. Horrible bleeding, horrible edging, and they're spotty too. It literally looks like a sponge did this. And on top of that, you, you want to know something like, look, Black India ink. This is great. Now you saw that it went down black. At the end, it was gray and then it quickly dried which I'll give credit it did dry pretty quick but now it's gray I can't use that and on top of that this is where we used our brush it, it turns gray it, it completely turns gray it is semi waterproof I mean it did bleed a little bit in fact you know what now that's like actually dry here let's do a quick test Okay, when fully dried, it's waterproof. I can give it that. I was really worried about that because at no point on the packaging or on the ink itself did it say waterproof. Here's what I'm thinking. I am not gonna waste one of my good illustrations on this ink. This is extremely disappointing. So instead, I'm actually going to freehand an illustration. So, roll that, super time lapse. So when using this ink, I actually used a different set of support as I just used a small sheet. I wasn't going to actually straight up create a very detailed piece for this. I just want something simple, very silhouette, very symbolic. And I decided to draw inspiration from both Egyptian and Cthulhu inspired mythos and artwork just to create kind of generic little blob monster. And I decided to just play with the actual advantages of the ink. The fact that you can't get good consistent lines with a dip pen. I just decided, you know what, I'll just use a brush. So I only used three brushes for this entire piece. On top of that, I specifically layered the 
ink much thicker than my test. That way it would dry black. Now this did take quite a bit of time to dry. In fact, it actually took 30 minutes to dry. On top of that, there are some areas where the ink is actually faded. It's not consistently black and there are gaps and I wasn't going to waste my time actually going through it again. This was a very frustrating piece because it was just an ink that was so frustrating. It did not want to go down smooth and on top of that, having to keep it goopy so it would even dry black was a huge problem. The fact that this ink likes to dry gray, theoretically this could be good for an ink wash where you don't actually have to water down the ink, but I can see huge problems with splotting so I try to keep it as consistently black as possible. As a whole, this was a very rough and not enjoyable inking process in the slightest. I did not like this at all. Simple piece, I mean this only took me like what 30 minutes between pencils and inks. Kind of surprised the ink actually stayed black. I really gooped it on as I mentioned before. Now for those of you who are wondering, this piece will not be available on my ArtStation account store. I personally feel like this piece does not reach my standard or level quality when it comes to artistic pieces that I would sell to you guys. So this piece will not be available. However, still feel free to check out the ArtStation account store. You'll definitely find a lot of awesome artwork that I know you guys will like. It's that first link in the description down below. Overall, this ink is garbage. Now I wasn't expecting a lot for a un under $4 ink. Come on, I expect something out of the company that makes my favorite ink. This ink on my scale of 1 to 10 earns a 2, way below average and just barely above garbage. The only reason it earned a 2 is because since it dries gray, I could theoretically see this being used to skip ink washes, though personally I wouldn't recommend it as I would encourage you to actually experiment with different types of ink washes and different type of inking techniques and that will help grow your art as a whole and I was able to actually get one decent drawing so it's not total garbage it's just really really bad and just barely above garbage however i would like to hear you guys' opinion do you guys think i was too harsh on this ink do you guys think that i was unfair we have done a lot of different inks on the channel before so i think i have the right to say that i do have a lot of experience with different types of inks so but i still like to hear you guys' opinions in the comment section down below please also let me know what you guys think of the artwork areas that i could improve on on other pieces that i've done if you check out my gallery and on top of that how would you do this piece doing more egyptian cthulhu lovecraft inspired i love to hear your guys' opinions but with that that said, I'm J Rod Balboa Productions. I draw power in my own soul, and today I inked with complete garbage. Luckily, my soul still ain't garbage.